Hello everybody, welcome to Mark's Remarks. Today I'm going to be making a sandwich involving a whole roast chicken, some cheese, other than the normal processed, processed cheese that I normally, you know, eat. I got for the chicken and the cheese from the cash and carry. Uh, let's see. I'm going to make a sandwich out of that and I'm going to be putting some sauce with there. I haven't, I'm sort of making this up as I go along, so it could either be mango chutney or sweet pickle lily. I just don't know. But, uh, okay, let's get started. First job is to cut the chicken up. <clears throat> now, as I said, this was a whole roast chicken. Um, there you go, there's the pack that it came in. Uh, British rotisserie chicken. There you go. It comes with it. It comes already cooked, all all like that. Can't remember how much it was. Uh, let's have a look. Now the price it hasn't got a price on it, but it is uh, it's about about three four pounds I think. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to try and delicately slice this chicken up into thin pieces. I don't want it sort of too big and chunky. Because uh, I want to get a lot into this sandwich. I, I might want to get some uh, tomato in there. I want to get a lot of ingredients. Okay, so that's, this is coming along pretty good. This knife isn't all, all that great. But uh, it'll do. Okay, I'm going to keep on slicing this chicken. In actual fact, the price of this chicken is roughly the same price as a, a raw chicken, you know, for a, you might get from a, a regular supermarket. So it's not bad value, you know. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and cut some more of that up. I'll be right back. Okay, as you can see, I've cut up a, a good amount. I'll be able to make a, one or two sandwiches out of this. And I've still got a few more sandwich worth of meat left over. Okay, I've cut up the chicken, I've put margarine on the bread. The bread I'm using is the Hovis Best of Both. I've never had this before. Looking at it, it's kind of like, it's not as dark as brown bread, but not as white as white bread. I, I think the, the idea is they've put mixed both types of bread together, I think. Anyway. Oh. I'm going to be, I'm going to go with a sweet piccalilli sauce. So... Actually, this is, uh, it's got quite a bit, it's got, um, it's the ingredients of this is cauliflower, silver skin onions with gherkins. It's got all kinds of uh, nice stuff in there. Just regular shop brand. I can't remember how much I paid, about a pound, 15 round there. It was just the, the cheapest shop brand they had in the, uh, in the shop. Okay, I'm going to put a, a, a generous amount in there, as you can see. Now, next ingredient is, uh, now, now th th this is Jarlsberg. Jarlsberg cheese, original, smooth, distinctive, round, uh, rounded taste. Made with Jarlsberg secret recipe. Now this is uh, what I, the reason why I bought this because uh, they had some people on um, some tables in the cash and carry sort of doing ham and cheese samplers, six hundred grams. So I thought I'd uh, give this a go because I I like the cheese. Normally I wouldn't sort of like try a cheese like this, but uh, it tasted very nice hmm. when they were doing samples. It's got a bit of a distinctive flavour to it. It's not as mild as the shop brand, you know, the sliced cheese that I normally buy. But uh, it's quite nice. It's got holes in it. Okay, now tomato. All right, I've taken all the seeds out. I don't really go for the seeds in the tomatoes, so uh, I've hollowed it out. This is actually a soft tomato. It's not as firm as the, the usual ones I get, so it's uh, it's not cutting up all that easy. But, I'm going to do what I can. Okay. There you go, just spread that about evenly. There you 
There you go. Sweet pickle, lily, cheese, tomato. Now, I'm going to load it up with some chicken. Now, this is going to be a lot better than the usual sliced, uh, you know, packaged chicken that you might normally buy for sandwiches. There. It, um, this is actual chicken. <laughs> actual sliced chicken from a, a whole chicken. There you go. Now, just for good measure, I'm going to put on a, another slice and another two. I've got quite, this is quite a big pack of cheese, actually. I mean, the Christ, there must be 30, 40 slices in there. I'm going to have to, you know, really go at it to use all that much. Okay. Anyway, I'll quickly show you. There you go. That's what it looks like from the side. Looking very nice. Anyway, so, um, yeah, I mean, there's not a lot to it as such. It's a cheese sandwich with chicken and tomato. But uh, it's just, using cheese, I've never, I mean, I recommend this cheese. I've never had this cheese before, but I only bought it because, like I say, I, I sampled it in Costco. And I thought, right, you know, it's, uh, I'll go with the, um, go with a chance of, you know, gamble the expense on uh, buying a pack. There we go. Incidentally, that's the address of my post office box. It's good until August 28, 2019. If you want to send me any um, postcards made of scrap cardboard, my birthday's coming up on June 6, so if you want to send me a birthday card using scrap cardboard, that's the one. Any sauces, any, uh, if you live abroad, you know, you know those sachets you get from abroad, from takeaways and places, send those, uh, promotional t-shirts if you want to shout out. Uh, dried mealworms from Poundland, I'm going to make videos on feeding them to chickens. Anyway, that, that's the address. So, there you go. That's enough of that. Oh, it's coming apart a little bit. It's such a chunky sandwich. Mm. Mm. A sweet pickle lily and tomato. It's a good, uh, good mix there. Eh? The cheese, the cheese is coming through. Again, when it comes to cheese, I never, you know, there's a, you know, mild cheddar, if I'm adventurous, and um, the cheap processed cheese. But this is actually quite good cheese. Hmm. Cheese is very nice. That sweet pickle lily goes well. The thing is, it would not be. It would be nice. I'm going to napkin. It would be nice with a bit of gherkin, but it's just getting it in there. It's it's not you know it's quite a chunky sandwich, so it's not easy fitting it in. But it's very good. So if you want to, if you want a bit of a change, get a whole chicken. Cook it yourself or get it from a uh, rotisserie. Jarlsberg cheese. And some kind of um, sauce that you like, you know that sweet pickle lily. I reckon I'm, I might I might do something similar, but with the uh, mango chutney. That'll be really nice because mango chutney is kind of sweet. Oh. Anyway, just an idea. Along with a postal address, I'm going to put a couple of uh, videos up here. If you want to click onto that for some other ideas. Go ahead, subscribe if you if you fancy, and if you do, hit the bell and you'll be alerted to all my new videos. There you have it. Um, coming up on 10 minutes, so that's enough, and thank you for watching.